even though it looks like an open RFP that anybody could, could participate in, it really wasn't. The Dirty Downs deal, a 25-year lease contract to rebuild and operate a casino and racetrack located on state-owned land at the state fair. The contract pays tens of millions to the state in lease payments and gambling proceeds. It's worth over a billion dollars in gaming revenue to the winner. That's not my vision of an open and transparent government. It's not my vision of what should, have ha should happen. Republican Charlotte Rohde was appointed to the State Fair Commission by Governor Martinez, but ran into trouble with the governor when she tried to do her job. Unfortunately, we were given no information. So we weren't allowed to ask the questions. We weren't allowed the access to the documents. I'm disappointed, truly disappointed in hearing that. That's highly inappropriate in my opinion. I would just submit to you that I think this is the level of uh, kind of government that we don't want to have. You know, when you say this did not look like good government, you're being incredibly polite. There's something wrong here. I think that it will continue to be investigated and looked at. Pulling up documents because I wasn't allowed access to any, I really had to do a lot of investigative work to try and just get this timeline. By threat, you win And as far as if you don't do what I tell you, I'm going to punish you. That is not government. On the afternoon of January 30th, 2012, the same day the Downs deal was finally being scrutinized by legislators, Governor Susana Martinez tried to withdraw from consideration all four state fair commissioners she originally appointed. So the governor actually appointed every member of the management of the state fair. She appointed the commission. She appointed the committee that reviewed the contract. She appointed the board of finance. So why is Governor Susana Martinez so desperate to keep the Downs deal out of the legislature? Could it be that the head of the contract evaluation team she appointed, Charles Gara, was really a ringer to push the deal through? Gara has a history of working with Jay McCluskey, Susana's political advisor, in her campaign for governor and behind the scenes even now. In 2003, Gara formed Citizens for Greater Albuquerque, a pro-business political group. He also managed to get himself appointed to an Albuquerque task force with the intention of undermining its efforts to benefit his political group's financial interests. Jay McCluskey was his advisor. Back to the Downs deal. Gara awarded the Downs at Albuquerque a perfect score of 300 for managerial experience in his evaluation form. This is laughable. The Downs has been accused of many things, but never good management. Among their many failings in that department, the Downs just finished a one-year probation for not paying horsemen their purse money. They recently owed the state fair over $1 million in back payments, collected only through litigation. They also underpaid their fair share of revenue to the state fair and failed to spend the contracted amount to market the event. And there are too many fines from the state gaming board to list here. Then there are the problems with the EPA and groundwater contamination for not cleaning up after the horses. Even the Martinez appointed manager of the Downs, Dan Morning, admits that this has been a problem for a long time. Her office was directly involved in, in promoting the contract. So there was no place for representation within that, and I think good government depends on representation. If you're going to appoint all the management, you're going to hide the information from all the people, and then tell them they have to be there to make this, to, to put the rubber seal on it. And if I could describe it as uh, breathing me out, I, I would go that far. I mean, that's, that's highly inappropriate. And if it came from upstairs, that's even worse. Susanna Martinez may also be afraid the legislature will learn about the $5,000 contribution she received from Louisiana majority owners of the Downs, William C. Wyndham and John Turner, hidden behind a New Mexico company, Brazos Land and Cattle. That's just crap. It's all about the timing. On December 28, 2010, the State Fair Commission decided to leave the contract decisions to the incoming Martinez administration. Brazos made their contribution to her on December 30th, 2010. Williams and Turner, again through Brazos, made another 5,000 contribution to Susanna Pack on May 6, 2011. 
On June 16th, just a few weeks later, Governor Martinez ordered a contract lease extension for the Downs to be put on the upcoming special legislative session. What they did last year in 2010, trying to get the 40-year contract through at the last minute, that had to be approved by the legislature. What they did last year <coughs> it was better than what they did this year. So, Susana Martinez is real fear? She is afraid the people of New Mexico will see the hypocrisy of a governor who campaigns against corruption while rigging the system to help her friends. This is government at its worst, corrupt and opaque, not clean and transparent. Paid for by Independent Source Pack.